Okay, so um, I wanted to start off with, sorry it's so close to my face, that's the only way we can do it so you guys can see it. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do stage makeup for your performances. Um, I'm also going to be using the Tutu palette by Cliché Cosmetics. So it's really nice because they have it like all together, so instead of like how all my makeup is here. Um, first, I'm starting with foundation, and I use this brush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'm only doing one side of my face, so I won't hopefully take as long. Um, you could use foundation primer to start with if you want, but I don't usually. Um, then I sometimes use concealer because it just helps get rid of like the redness here um, or you can put it under your eyes but I'm not going to do that today because you guys don't really do that. Um, eyeshadow. Oh, so they also um, give you brushes with the palette. It's zoomed into my face right now. Okay. So you're just going to apply that to your eyelid and then you can use the same brush or you can use a different brush. I usually just use the same brush or I'm going to use this one for the darker. Um, you can put this in the crease of your eyelid. Let's see. I haven't used this before. so. Then you just kind of just shape it to the crease of your eye. And I do like a little line out. So that's kind of the idea. You can use a darker color if you want to, but I'm going to just stick with this color. Next, we're going to use eyeliner. So I usually use liquid eyeliner, but you can use this. So I'm going to do liquid eyeliner first and then use this on my other eye because I haven't used it yet. Okay, so I'm actually going to go a bit darker with the crease because that's what I usually do. So they have like a grayish brown crease color, but I'm going to actually use the brown eyeliner um, for the crease because I just like a darker <laughs> color. Okay, so then once you find, like, the crease, you kind of have to find it first. Then you're just gonna... Wow, I'm really bad at this today. Okay. So then next, I'm going to use this brush again, because it's a lighter color I had on it. They have a highlight color, which is what you typically put, like, right here under the eyebrow. And it's like a white, so that's what I'm using. Oh, this works really well. You can kind of make a point with it if you want to, but I don't, it just depends on how you... I do it differently every time. Okay, um, I'll come back to the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner first and then I'll use their um, black eyeliner on this eye. So I always like mess up the first time I do it. But... Okay. So I just start by doing like a wing and then I start to kind of fill it in or make a thicker point, I mean. And that actually somewhat worked. I'm not very good at eyeliner. Okay. So then I usually do it on the bottom to make your eye look bigger. Now I'm going to do the bottom eyeliner. 
So what you kind of have to do is pull down on your face a little bit and then you kind of start in right here. And then you just kind of have to keep, um, try to keep it as smooth as possible. If you mess up, it's okay to do it again. Or to go over it to make it thicker. Okay, that's good enough for now. So, um, eyeshadow. You're going to take the white, the white crease, I mean, sorry, white highlight stuff and put it in between here. And you can kind of go under your eye a bit too. Okay, and I'm going to fix the, the base part on the lid. Okay, then I'm going to do my eyebrow. This is, um, just a New York City like eyeliner pencil. So first I just have to kind of get the color on the eyebrow. And my eyebrow is weird so I kind of have to fill it in over here a little more. And then I'm going to take this brush. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to use this part of it. <laughs> and this kind of blends the color together. Oops. I always feel like this looks kind of weird, but it, it looks better when you have all of your makeup done. Um, okay, well you get the idea of how to do that, so I'm just going to leave it. Next, we need to do eyelashes, fake eyelashes. I use fake eyelashes at least. And you can reuse them, so I am going to reuse this one. It's number 48. So make sure you don't have to, make sure it fits to your eye, and you don't need to trim it or anything. So what I do is I just kind of hold it up, and I haven't had to trim these yet. I use them on tour. And then you kind of have to let it dry for uh, a few seconds. I'm okay, this is okay. So make sure the smaller part is on the inside of your eye, and that's where I usually start putting it on. So then you can press it with your finger or take a Q-tip and press down on it. And you can kind of open your eye to make sure it's okay. But um, I would let it dry first a little more. But so I'm not going to fix it. But what you're going to do next is I typically use a curling, an eyelash curler, and wait till it's like completely dry. And then you have to get all of the eyelashes in it. You don't have to do this, but this kind of helps. I think your Normal eyelashes stick to the fake eyelashes and it just makes these look less droopy. Then I'm going to take um, mascara and make them even thicker. So I probably need to fix the corner of that. But for right now, it is okay. Then I put some on the bottom. I don't really put blush on a lot, but lately I've kind of figured out how to make it look better since my cheeks are already kind of red. You kind of, you don't want it like just here, like a red blob on your face. You kind of want it to be more of like a line, kind of down more actually, like here like your jawbone, 
um, because it's um, to just define your face more. Um, I don't know if you can really see this, but it's just kind of going to show you guys the idea of how to put it on. So now I'm going to do lipstick. Um, your studio is probably going to tell you what color they want, but I'm just going to use the one in the palette. So I'm just using my finger. And then... See, this is probably going to fail. I'm using my finger. Okay, so I'm just going to use one of the brushes from the thing, and I don't know if that's what it's for, but... <laughs> um, now I have to do highlight, highlight. The white highlight, you're going to take that again, and you can do this when you're doing your eyeshadow, I just forgot. You're going to put it right here. Okay, and then you can kind of fix everything up. And another tip for the eyeshadow, um, for the darker eyeshadow here, um, it's not just in the crease, like only right there. You kind of have to make it go up a little so you can see it. Or at least that's kind of um, what I do. And just remember for the blush to do more of like a line here. You can't really see it. Um, I'm going to try the eyeliner in their um, palette. I'm going to use the black one. And I'm using one of the brushes. And I'm going to do it on this eye. Well, the wing can always be fixed. Fixed. Um, just use a Q-tip or makeup remover. Um, just make it go kind of up more not down so your eyes don't look like <laughs> droopy or asleep. Um, but that's kind of how I do my stage makeup or the idea of how you guys can do it. So I hope this helps. Okay, so I forgot to add some things. First of all, um, what I kind of do with the eyeshadow is I kind of make it go out a little bit. They're not really even. Um, I don't know, it just kind of gives it a more open effect. And then with the white highlight up here, um, don't do it like, I don't know if you can see, like all thickness right here. Do just like one line right here. And speaking of the eyebrow, my eyebrows, um, I usually have it waxed more under here. It's kind of thick right now, um, so it kind of also affects it. And um, with the lip, with the lipstick, um, you what you can do um, is you can like apply a little bit of gloss, lip gloss, not too much, um, but I just took some of this, it's what helps keep it, um, it helps it stay on it, just makes it like a little brighter, I guess, and um, I, we will be putting the link in the description to where you can buy um, the Tutu palette, and also I said the brushes came with it, but they're actually sold separately, so yeah.